What's up Grizzlies and welcome back to another episode of Grizzly Gearhead. Today I am very proud to say that we are about to break the 1,000 subscriber mark. As I sit right now we're around the 993, 95 area so that's pretty good. I'm hoping by the next couple of days, boom, we'll hit it. And as soon as we do, I'm going to be giving away whoop, this baby right here. That's right. This is the Cobra Drive HD dash cam. You can mount it up in the front or the back of your car, wherever you prefer, and get some awesome footage. So either if it's, you know, your trip to Mexico or... Just an accident, you know? You never know what can happen on the streets and it's good to have one of these. I spent some time looking around trying to find something universal to fit pretty much any car because I didn't want to give something away that was only Volkswagen or Mark 7 specific being that not everyone who watches this channel has a Volkswagen or a Mark 7. So this is something that no matter who you are or what you drive, you can use. So if you subscribe, click the button, subscribe. <laughs> And then go to the Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash grizzlyind, and go ahead and like that page. Tomorrow, on September 25th, 2016, I'm going to be posting a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. All you gotta do to enter is comment on that post and say, dash cam. That's all. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'll read off some of the features here. Pretty snazzy. Record everything you see and hear in 1080p full HD with high dynamic range that optimizes video during day or night. Pretty nifty. So those nighttime trips, you know. Uh, Built-in GPS captures your exact location, time, G-force, because we need that, and speed in every HD video. Now for those of you who wear tinfoil hats, um, you can, I believe, turn the GPS function off so that the government can't track you. It's a conspiracy, man! Next up, continuous loop recording overwrites old footage unless you want to save it. So it's pretty much constantly recording. And of course, a wide angle view, you need that. And a three axis accelerometer. Don't know what it does, but it sounds awesome. Automatically protects footage surrounding the incident. So if you get in an accident, you're covered. And also if it's, you know, sudden acceleration, maybe that race you got with the Subi on that highway, you got it, maybe, who knows. Make sure you mount this on the back of your car so you can get all the cars you leave in the dust. If you put it in the front, you're never gonna record anything. Just saying. So yeah, there it is, pretty sweet. If you guys want it, like the Facebook page, subscribe, of course, and comment. Dash cam. that's all, it's yours, free, hey. <laughs> So, without further ado, let's get on to the rest of the video. And with the power of movie magic, I am going to change my shirt and the time of day. So let's get to installing that Euro plate. Okay, so that's all good to go now. Back the car up a little bit so we can have some more space to put it on. So let's go ahead and start that. So what we're gonna be doing is removing that license plate, the front one and the euro plate should mount into the existing brackets so it really shouldn't be <sighs> dead cat that big of an issue so here's the euro plate cover and then there we go grizzly tv it's pretty warm so yeah it was about 30 bucks uh for sale at big SoCal Euro so I mean not too bad not too shabby not too shabby it's gonna look pretty cool Ugh. all right just to make this easy we're just gonna use my Leatherman I didn't bring my toolbox so that's all I have to work with so honestly if you have a screwdriver you're better off than I am Ventura Volkswagen, they hooked it up with the 2.99% APR. You guys are on point. Sucks 
when you don't have fingernails, you can't really like dig in there and grab these little tools in there. Did it. There we go. Ah, oh, there's another one. There's three. Got one more to go. I'm gonna freaking kill myself. Ugh. Okay, so that looks like total shit. So I'm glad. Man, do they really have to drill this big of a hole? I mean, I mean look at this. I'm sorry, but does that seem necessary? Look at these, look at the size of that compared to my fingers. Those are three huge holes just to mount a freaking tiny ass little license plate. Like, come on guys, come on, come on. I removed the plastic piece that comes with most Euro uh, plates, I guess we'll call it. So this is supposed to come somewhere on here. You know what, maybe that was supposed to stay on. be super ugly though. Okay, this was on here like this. Alright. If this was to go on top, that is pretty freaking ugly to me. I think I'm just gonna drill right into the bumper. Do it! I think I'm just gonna screw it in there. Just just do it! Yes you can! So I'm just pushing down with the screw to leave a little imprint so I know where to uh, drill. It looks about right to me. Whatever. Not bad. I know it looks like total shit, and most of you guys, nine out of 10 of you, will not do this to your vehicle. That's fine, to each their own. But I decided to do it because I like the look of the Euro plate a little bit better. I'm willing to risk the fix it ticket, honestly. It's like a $25 ticket. If anything, they might just tell you to put it back on. But honestly, I plan on changing this front bumper in the future anyways, so I don't really care. Plus a little Bondo and some body work, a little paint job. It's not that big of a deal, especially if you know, uh, know how to repair it and you do the work yourself. Of course, if you take it in, yeah, it's gonna be expensive. Don't do that. I'm thinking maybe I should have done it in the corners, but we'll find out. I guess this might just fix that issue. That actually looks pretty good to me. I don't know about you guys. Oh shit. Stick down in there. Oh, oh shit, I totally just freaking bent that. Oh my God. Oh, can you guys see that? Oh, look at that. Look at that bend. I'll try and bend it back. Damn, that bent pretty easily, not gonna lie. Might just have to use the pliers to kinda get it back in there. Oh, am I scratching it now? No! You guys are probably sitting there laughing at me. It's not funny! At this point, I really don't even care anymore. If we can see, maybe if I go in from the side, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Oh wait, oh you know what? Mother, if this is, I swear to God. Yup, damn it. Come on, I should have known that. All right, well, so you guys know, the bottom plate comes off and that should make it a lot easier to put in. Wow, okay, that would have saved me a lot of trouble. And yeah, I know, I probably could have just looked online and uh, seen some videos on how to do it or whatever, but I honestly just wanted to get it on. And so I didn't. That's, you know, hey, you live and you learn, right? But honestly, I'm not too worried about it. So. Cool. So this side, you just kind of like push it in and move it over. Same with this one, you bend it in, push it in, move it over, and it kind of just snaps on in from there. Everything else seems to be fine. The part where I kind of scratched it, it's really hidden under this anyways. So not that big of a deal, but I do like the whole theme of it. It seems to be centered and it's black and red. 
like my car's theme. Well, there it is. I'm sure you guys got a good laugh out of my struggle. Ha ha. But yeah, it was actually pretty easy. I mean, for the most part, I just had to figure a couple things out. You know, trial and error, you live and you learn. That's pretty much with any install uh, when you're just figuring it out. I like it. Looks good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I put the front plate back on or leave it how it is? I like it. Kind of shows off, gives the uh, Grizzly TV a little bit of advertising. Hey, works out for me, you know. So that's pretty much it for today's episode. I'm gonna end it here. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys liked it and any suggestions you guys have for cheap uh, little things to do to the GTI to make it look a little bit better, you know, style it, jazz it up or whatever. Um, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to follow because updates coming up all the time. And I do have a new car uh, crew that I'm kind of hanging out with. Uh, I'm not really like officially like a, I guess a member. I don't know how that works yet, but um, you know, just checking it out. They're cool guys. They're all JDM, of course. They're not Euro, but um, it's cool. They have FRSs, BRZs, 350Zs. So I mean, hopefully I can get some cool videos. Them doing like drifting stuff like that. You know, things that you can't really do in a GTI. I think I'm one of the few who's actually boosted. Um, you guys probably saw Patrick's um, rally. I think it's called a rally art. Uh, Mitsubishi. It's not an Evo, apparently. But um, his is, pr is pretty uh, full bolt-ons, turbo. It's pretty cool. I might want to check that one out. I might do a video on that soon. Got to talk to him about that. But apparently he beats a lot of uh, muscle cars and he's pretty quick. So hopefully we can check that out soon. If you guys are interested. But yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the flip side.